20 minutes later. A few moments later. What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Why am I watching this? What is up guys, it is the Dashcom here, and welcome back to a video about how to avoid being distracted on YouTube. I know that it's often very, very difficult to avoid clicking that video in the sidebar or um, after a video plays, but this is a way to make sure that you don't even see the videos in the sidebar or the um, video suggestions after a video plays. So this also has another benefit, it blocks pretty much every single ad that you'll ever see on the internet, but it involves the use of a software called the blocker on your computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find a blocker that you want to use. I like to use the uh, blocker uBlock Origin, which is uh, very popular and it's also very lightweight. So if you have a crappy computer, that's probably the one that you're going to want to use. Um, it's available for Chrome and Firefox. I'm using Firefox, so I'm going to download it for that. Um, the installation is as simple as like two or three clicks, depending on your browser. And then you'll get a little message that says that it's successfully installed. So the next thing you're going to want to do is move to the um, application's... Uh, box for me it's going to be in here but it'll probably be in the sidebar right here for you next to like the home button and downloads button and you'll see that there are a lot of options here um, the option that we're going to use is the element picker mode so let's go to a YouTube video doesn't have to be a specific YouTube video or anything it just it shouldn't just be any video how about how to make a motherboard cake I guess and basically what you want to do is select the ad blocker and then select the little element picker button and then you'll open up this um, screen where you can select elements that you want to block. And so, as you can see right here, this autoplay button you want to keep on because it's not possible to block autoplay entirely. So you have to keep that for disabling autoplay. So after you've um, picked the element that you want, the first thing that you're going to want to do is this, um, this area right here where all the sidebar suggestions go. Um, you can click create and then that will just disappear. It will never load on any YouTube page ever again. And what that means is that you'll never see a YouTube suggestion there again. Then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is um, get rid of this up next um, like video suggestion without getting rid of the um, up next box. So you're gonna have to click on the side of the video and then click create. And now you'll see that this just leaves the autoplay slider up so that you can turn it off and turn it back on. And then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click to the end of the video I'll mute it so that we don't have to hear this annoying person talking. But basically what's going to happen is you see that there are YouTube suggestions at the end. Not these, but these right here. Um, you're going to click the element picker mode again, and you're just going to select the entire video. And so that's the HTML5 end screen. And so that will allow you to block the suggestions entirely. So provided that you have the autoplay slider set to off position, you're never going to see another YouTube suggestion on the play page ever again.